Buffalo. And how about this for a start? This is out of bounds. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. Throwing on first down is Allen. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up. But once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. to throw on second down. That's complete to the running back, Naheem Hines. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Alert! Now Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his hurts. 
And this one is incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. on first down that leads to a second and ten hurts and this is caught and he'll be out of bounds give him 32 on the play that is the exact right play call against that defense so a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match, but give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Well, they need about the length of the football here on first and goal. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Eagles have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Instead of having to play follow the leader there, the leader led. I like that. And, and he likes that, doesn't he? First and goal, let me do the job. Because you know when he falls into the end zone after falling behind those big, big guys who pushed up front, that's a pretty good celebration, isn't it? Gives him a little street cred in the locker room too, doesn't it? Street cred, and then when they go out to dinner afterwards, he's still picking up the check. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back to back, good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Allen going to throw. It's complete to Diggs. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Bills. Isaiah McKenzie, 36 yards. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. And the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Cut, ready? But first down, Hurts. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, this is going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case... Ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. They'll roll him out right. That is complete downfield to Knox. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Allen. Looking middle, and that's complete. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have taken the lead. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Let's go now. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got him down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Hey, check that, check that. Three, three. Three, Ryan. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Shoves him away, and the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So after the INT, it's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. 
And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. with a Singletary. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. Throwing now is Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Isaiah McKenzie with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Touchdowns on their first three possessions, and they're a PAT from going up 21-7. to Yeah, very impressive the way that they moved the football. Full command of their playbook, full command of the way they wanted to attack. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21 to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Well, it's looking like another three and out here. And at some point, you got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit. And we're not even at halftime. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Head the street. Head the street. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. 
And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. That one goes for 30 yards. The sneak gets hurt, and he gets halfway there down to the one yard line. Now, a second timeout called for by the defense, so that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Oh, the sneak gets hurt, and he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. Elliott Good with a PAT. And they're back with it a touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Allen going to try and throw on third down. And Diggs has it. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Hines. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The last run got six, now second and four. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hines. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. But anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. They run with Hines. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. 
And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Nothing, nothing. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Hurt sets up to throw it. Going deep here for Watkins. And incomplete on the deep ball. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. They were able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Ready. Now 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Here's Sam Martin now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. he's having a flashback because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL in high school they were offensive stars they touched the football all the time it's like he said to himself let's go back and put on the letter jacket 
and go get the football. How about this one? Three interceptions thus far. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Looking to throw. Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Here we go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll make it third and 13. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. third and long they'll look to throw and that will be incomplete as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. to pick up about four. It's second down. 
And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Up the middle, it's Cook. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Allen taking it himself. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Were we surprised a little bit? Second and one, they went quarterback sneak. I know it worked, so it's not like I'm second guessing yeah. at all, but I thought they might go with something else there. No, I'm sitting here trying to think the last time I saw a second one sneak. I can't remember any. Yeah, it's a rare call because normally you're going to go ahead and use your back if you're going to run it or if you want to throw it. A little quick pop there, but in this case, just get in behind those big guys and pick up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. third down they go with Singletary now he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown Devin Singletary an eight yard touchdown run and the Bills are an extra point away from making this a three score game Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. out of the back of the end zone so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive where we stand right now in the fourth quarter this one pretty much out of reach and Charles I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game but the self-inflicted wounds they've had several turnovers you have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts puts it on the carpet. It's out. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the 
deficit here in the fourth, it doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try to put points on the board. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is dropped it incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. This time is run out on this ball game. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills.